Behind me is a house being constructed with Nadura's insulated concrete forms. Now that's ICF for short. Now most people know what ICF is, they have a general idea, but a lot of times they look at you like, ah, I know what it is, but maybe not 100% sure. So I go ahead and I tell them, you know those foam blocks you see that are hollow and you stack them up like Lego and fill them with concrete? That's what ICF is. Any type of building can be constructed with this method. Now that can be anything from just a simple square box with some nice clean lines. You can do a bungalow similar to this one. You can step it up to even a fancier house with a lot more jogs, corner windows, and big tall gables and peaks. Commercial buildings, we can get into multi-story apartment buildings. Whatever design element you choose, you'll always maintain a high level of efficiency, continuous insulation, air tightness, and all the qualities that ICF will give you. Insulated concrete forms, typically known for basements, but you can do so much more than that. So let's go inside. I'll show you how to build a house like this from the ground up, and we're gonna keep it simple. Normally, if you're pouring a basement, you would just pour your basement in a conventional method and just stop where the basement ends. But for a house like this, we just pour up and we stack the block a little bit taller. We insert these hangers that gives us something that when we pour the concrete encapsulates those, now we can set our floor joist system. I wanna show you just one thing. We would stack the block to here, insert our hangers, we pour to about this level. After that's all poured and we strip it all down, we just move all our block, all our bracing and rebar and everything upstairs. We have a floor set and now we can build off of this. And once you're ready, you can pour this upper level floor then the next step is just to install the top plate to anchor your trusses to. Then you strip all your bracing down. Now this is my favorite part of a build is seeing these freestanding walls that you can quite literally body check. And that's because they don't require a floor or roof to give it structural integrity. So that just goes to show that Nadura ICF has that disaster resilience built in. If you just adjust from old school ways of building to something like this, you can gain 60% energy efficiency. There's no thermal bridging, eight to 10 times more airtight, quiet, comfortable, cozy, and safe. That's what Nadura offers you. For electrical, you simply just have to create a channel. You cut out the foam for the box, insert the box, stuff the wires in. You don't have to pre-plan or anything. You can do all your electrical after everything's poured and you're, you do your walkthroughs with your client. What you'll see here is what's typical in most construction, most houses, is you really only need your vent for your sink that's on an exterior wall looking out of a window. And I know what else you're thinking. You're wondering, how do I attach to this stuff? It's all foam. No, it's not. Right here is a perfect example. Every eight inches, there's a plastic tie here. You can see by the design in the Dura's block, every eight inches is one of these ties. These help hold it and maintain the force. So when you're pouring your concrete down the wall, they're stopping this foam from exploding apart. This also acts as a spot to attach drywall, plywood for interior, anything to the interior. They're also on the exterior, so you can attach your siding, anything you need to attach. We ran through that pretty quick, but that gives you a general idea of how to build a house from the ground up using Nadura insulated concrete forms. If you need more information, make sure to check out nadura.com. I'm Cody, thanks for tuning in.